Hey everyone, I'm Frank and you're watching Let's Be Frank. Teaching economics can be lots of fun, especially at Fairfield University. Don't believe me? Check this out. Yo, Frank is my name, economics my game. You be spitting records, I spit dollars and change. Unlike all my other shows, this job wasn't new. In fall 2008, I held plenty of reviews. I knew nothing about teaching, but I gave it a try. In senior year, I feared the time to say goodbye. Hear me out in Cali and all the way to Maine, as I'll be teaching economics with Dr. Phil Lane. Everybody, thank you so much for coming tonight. I know it's the day before the test, and everybody might be a little tense, but tonight we're going to review money and business. <laughs> When you first heard that Frank would quote unquote spearhead these review sessions, what was your initial reaction? My initial reaction was that Frank is obviously very organized and very bright. So that if he was willing to do that, that would mean that he would have to get to a level of understanding that he could help other people, which to accomplish, to get to that level, you really have to know what's going on. I think that he really cares about us as, as you know, his classmates. So it's always fun to go. I've been going since September since he started. I, I mean, Frank can pretty much explain everything very, very, very well. You should watch what I'm about to do because it's going to be the 18th. Thank you. Thank you. When it first started out, I, I guess I heard that there weren't, wasn't as many people, but it, s it slowly grew. Is it, that correct? It grew because people realized that working together and going over a series of questions with, at the beginning, seven or eight people, now up to as many as in, in the 20s, you're going to learn a lot. I know we've discussed this, and I know there's a lot of ways to go about this mandatory question, but what I've given you in the study guide is the framework that I'd like you to follow. So they were going over some of the finer points, and Frank was explaining to several of the troops what traditional channels were no longer working with, for the Federal Reserve and what other parts they needed to look at and showing them where in the book and then where in the notes we had talked about these issues. So it clearly was a very organized chaos. Consumer confidence is way, way down. Spending is up. Consumption hey. is down. Oh, wow. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> the boss. What is your problem? Mm -hmm. I have some handouts for you, but I'm sure it helps. Huh. see you, my friend. <laughs> see, I have some handouts for you. Got a little bit jumbled here, so you know what? <laughs> little? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about Dr. Lynn. Were you surprised that he showed up? I actually was. We had a review session on Monday also, and he was there, and I was like, Oh my goodness, he really is awesome. He makes himself really accessible to us, tons of office hours, always willing to help after class, before class. Now, Philip, we have discussed question two. Oh. We've discussed question two extensively. Now, question two. Oh. Thanks, Paul. Question two. I actually misled you on this, so forgive me. I'm going to try writing on the board again. Trust me on this. Does everyone have the copy of question two? We know the question. Question two is my question. I devised this question. I'm not going to screw you over. Don't worry. Better. I know you might doubt me at times, but now bear with me, Jeanette. Especially bear with me. I don't know if I can do that. You don't know if you can do that. Well, just trust me. What do you got? In five minutes, I'm going to explain this question to you, and then we're going to move on. You seemed like you were entertained at certain points by what he was saying. <laughs> yeah, Frank. Frank's an interesting character. Uh, just his little quirks. He can kind of. After having a couple classes with him, I can, I can understand those quirks. No, I don't think anything that Frank says is weird. Absolutely not. Hell no. Is that sarcasm? No. No, I'm, I'm serious. Frank is just the man. I mean, he's got a real great presence. He, he got a little worked up at times, though. I like to see him kind of relax. We're going to say transaction. <laughs> Liquidity <coughs> preference. It, Jeez, I never write that clear in class. Liquidity preference is going to, oh, before it was ugly. It got ugly before. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get as ugly as mine, Frank. Exactly. Let's not go there. My mom drilled it into me. She said that I have to print me. I had to write in a book with mine, but I don't want to go down there. <laughs> it was bad. I got in trouble when I didn't know that a nickel was five cents. I got in trouble with these basic education topics. I don't want to go down that road now. Please stay with me. Transact. Money demand comes in three forms. Oh, my God. Um, are we in the TMI category? Uh, you know, no. Penny is one cent. Nickel is five cents. Don't, don't. Don't it took me a while to get that, okay? Hey, it took me a while to get that. I'm a long way in economics major, all right? Now, please. Frank, we're not going to go to Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rizzatella. Money demand comes in three forms transaction, precautionary, and speculative. He invokes a lot of reaction from me. So I can't help but move when Frank. 
talks to me in such a way. It's just it's invigorating. It's enlightening. It's endearing. It's Frank. Frank says sometimes he gets a little rowdy. What does that mean? I, I would think that Fra Frank's definition of rowdy and mine are probably not in the same neighborhood. Um, but I think he gets a little worked up about what he's doing, a little excited. And I think that, to Frank, would be rowdy, not quite uh, what some of us, others of us would call rowdy. Generally, how did he do as, like, leading the class? Um, he was great, and I liked how he interjected a little bit of humor into it, too, to keep us all entertained. Because um, sometimes just lecturing on economics can be kind of boring, but Frank made it entertaining. As a group dynamic, I've always asked students that it's a good idea to study in a group, but there are very few who actually take that advice and do something with it. This is the first time in the 25 years of Fairfield I've actually seen virtually an entire class show up on a relatively systematic way to review. So you wouldn't say that he's a nerd? Nope, I would not say he's a nerd. I've met nerds, and he's not in that category. But again, if we push him a little bit, we might get him there. Don't believe me? Check this out. Yo, Frank is my name, economics my game. You be spitting records, I spit dollars and change. Unlike all my other jobs, it's brand new. Ah, shoot, we had it! Oh, man, the dollar bill slip was solid! <laughs>